Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a quick comparison between a Tiffany charm and a Pandora charm. Now I am aware that they are two very different brands, two very different price points, and it's kind of hard to compare them in a way because I don't want to be uh, biased towards one or the other because it's they're pretty different. But I did want to kind of show it to you guys um, and uh, let you guys see the comparison between one another. So this is how the Tiffany & Co. charm came. It's in the little box. Now I do not own a Tiffany charm bracelet. This is actually something that my mom bought and um, she bought it for to wear it as a pendant. So it comes in the little blue box, the coveted blue box. When you open it, it comes in the little pouch. And then it comes with this card, which is just a cleaning, um, like how to take care of your silver card, and a little bit of um, padding here. Put that to the side. So it does come with a complimentary pouch. It says Tiffany & Co. Really nice, really pretty. If you open it up, it's, it is divided into two sections inside. And here is the charm. It's a little shopping bag charm. Now my mom did buy this. I went with her to buy it actually around a month and a half ago. And she's only worn it once. But it's really cute. It's a little shopping bag. It says Tiffany and Co. on both sides. I'm sure if we can just read it. One side and the other. It is a dangle charm. I, most of, no, actually not most. If I'm not mistaken, all of their charms are dangles. And the way you put it on their bracelet, on the bracelet, they sell these clips to clip it on, or you have to get it soldered on. But this is it now, something. Now this charm will set you back $250. That is, wow. Like, that's so expensive because it is sterling silver. But of course, you're not just paying for a silver charm. You're paying for um, for the blue enamel and you're paying for the brand itself and the fact that it says Tiffany & Co. Now, something that I will know, that I will point, point out that I was very, very disappointed. As I said before, she's had this for around two months. So it hasn't been that long. It is hollow on the inside, but I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell. But it's already significantly dirty on the inside and on the sides hopefully you'll, you'll be able to see but she hasn't had this for very long and she hasn't worn it either she's stored it pretty well and the fact that it's getting that dirty on the inside it's a little disappointing because that's what the pouch is for to keep it nice and clean and um away from the air and stuff now weight wise it is pretty heavy but it's not um, too, too bad. It is pretty heavy. Um, it does have enamel. It has like a sort of glossy enamel to it, as you can see. On the bottom, it has in white, it says T and Co. And then, it, what does it say? Oh, yeah, it has the um, silver markings, and then it says Germany. I'm not sure if it's focusing. There we go. Okay, so that's the Tiffany charm. Now, when it comes to Pandora, I kind of tried to look for two charms that were the most similar to this um, charm, and I found these two. This is the Mickey's Fun Wheel. Size-wise, this is the biggest charm I have, and it's still significantly smaller Whoops, it's still significantly smaller than the Tiffany & Co. charm. And then this is a dangle charm. This is the Dumbo charm. And if we put it together, it's around, it'll fall at the same length. But of course, the Tiffany & Co. is slightly, is actually bigger. This is... Kind of the closest, these are the two blue charms that I own from Pandora. They're very similar blues. This one I, I chose because I want to show it to you guys. 
to sparkly kind of blue. This one is just a single blue, Oops. like a plain blue, but they're very different from the obviously the Tiffany color. Now, um, warranty wise, I'm not completely sure if you can. I've heard that you do have to pay a small amount to get it cleaned. I'm not completely sure. I forgot to ask about that, and I will update it. Um, I will update you guys on a future video if you do need to get this, if you need to pay to get this little charm clean. But I know for Pandora, they do free cleaning. Um, I haven't had this problem with um, Pandora charms. They have become very dirty. Like this one does become very dirty in these little holes here. But uh, this just kind of looks weird. Like it's it's just a lot for, for having it in a pouch. Um, and then the little box. It's, it's really, I feel like it's a lot. Price point, this is $75. This one's $70. So it's definitely a lot less expensive. But of course, I'm going to do a future video on the cost of a Pandora bracelet. And a cost of a Tiffany bracelet. If you guys are interested, let me know. I can also do that video. Because at the end of the day... Um, you can buy three charms on a Tiffany bracelet and it's going to look really nice. And Pandora because they are smaller and because they are, um, because they are smaller and because, uh, more fit on it. Like you can fit more on a bracelet and they're less expensive. You can actually fit more. Um, but that's going to be for a future video. So that's what I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope it was useful. If you're considering buying a Tiffany bracelet, um, Make sure you're aware of that. Uh, definitely try to store it well. I mean, I personally told my dad, my mom to store it in this little pouch and little box. But I'm not sure. Maybe when we go in to get it cleaned, I'll ask what's a better way to store it. Because that's kind of disappointing. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. enjoy and I'll see you in my next video.